Good morning, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We're doing a video this morning on a Permobil F5 standing power chair with seven functions. Good morning, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility again. We're doing a video this morning on a Permobil F5 standing with seven electrical function with 36 miles, which was used about a month and a half, two months. Literally brand new. This is one of the most uh, engineered chair in America. So this chair has seven functions. It has the standing function. It has the reclining, the tilt. It has the interior tilt. It has the legs that go up, the legs that go up and down. It has all kinds of functions, okay? So we're gonna start with the standing feature. So if you're gonna have someone sit in this chair and you're gonna stand them up, you need to brace them. So the first thing you need to do is make sure the foot plates are all the way in because when you go to put the knee brace, when you put the knee brace, if the foot are out, it's not gonna go by the cushion. So the feet are all the way in and then they should drop in just like this. And this is adjustable here, so if you want it tighter against the knees or less, then you need to have this bar right here, the chest bar. If you don't have a chest bar, you're gonna to need to have a strap, which this one does not have a strap, so that's why you gotta use the chest bar. So once you've got the knee brace and the chest bar and everything's adjusted for, adjusted for your loved one, you can do all the functions through the joystick or through this little box right here. I like to use this little box, it's a little quicker for me. The first button, if I push on it, you'll see the seat starts moving up, the legs go out, you'll see the seat, it'll do all kinds of little stuff. And you will see these wheels go to the ground right here when the seat starts going up. You can see the wheels right now going to the ground. And the seat will go all the way up. And the nice thing about this, once the seat is up, you can still drive this chair at a course or reduce speed. But we've got the seat now pretty much raised up. Okay, this is as far as it'll go. It will not be straight. It'll be a little bit of a slam, but that's as far as it'll go. That's your standing feature, and if you look at this right here, you can see a person could technically still do a presentation, drive their chair around the room, whatever they need to do. If you need to move them from one room to another, you can still drive the chair around. This is what it would look like from the front, and this would be the back of the chair. You can see the, this chair has motors everywhere. It's just an engineering marvel, and you see how quiet that is? Now while we have the seat up, let's look at the base on the chair. It's a lot easier to look at the base while the seat is up. You can see there's a spring here. There's a spring here. And these have a, a knob in the back. You can turn and adjust the pressure on the springs on these two. And there's two more over here. So with these four shocks, and this chair weighs 450 pounds. So with the weight of the chair and the suspension, that's why it has such a great suspension, such a great ride. These are 14 inch wheel, but this chair is equipped with the aggressive tire. What that means is not just your regular car tires. It has really aggressive treads and the same thing in the back. These tires in the back right here are the aggressive treads. So this chair is, is equipped. If you're going to use it outside and go in the yard, the tires are a little more aggressive for the yard, but they're still perfect for the house. You have also an anchor point right here to secure your chair right under here and there's another one right behind the fender right here there's four of these around the chair to secure your chair if you're going to transport your chair there's a motor right here you can't see it. it's behind this plastic cover you can see that the end of the motor right here this motor goes directly to the hub there's no chain no belt direct drive to the hub so it's a lot quieter a lot easier to maintain now if i wanted to push this chair it weighs 450 pounds it's in gear it's not going anywhere but if I want to push it you would have to turn the power off first because if you leave the power on you're gonna have resistance in the motor power is off and right here on your motor, remember that that little handle push it down and now watch you see your wheel it's in, you got to do both motors on both sides, and now you're in free wheel as soon as you put it back in gear you can see the wheel locks in gear okay then you can turn your power back on and you're ready to go so that's pretty much the base on the chair. This is a front wheel drive chair. That means your drive wheel is up front. 
usually there's no wheels on the ground. This one has a wheel because the seat is standing. As soon as the seat goes down, that wheel is going to come off the front. Okay? So we're going to bring the seat back down. While the seat is working its way back down, let me talk about this right here. It has a swing away joystick. What that means is you can take the joystick from the front, bring it to the side and get a lot closer to a dining table without having to hit the joystick. Okay. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side and everything on the left side. Okay. The wheels are coming off the ground. There we go. The next thing I'm going to show you is the seat lift. Now this chair has a seat lift of 14 inches. So that's pretty neat. So now once the seat is down, you don't need this anymore. You don't need the chest guard and you don't need the knee brace anymore. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to raise the seat up all the way up. Ah, hit the wrong button. So the seat's going to go up. You're going to start roughly at 22 inches. And if you add 14 inches, that's going to bring you to 36 inches high. And the nice thing about this chair, once you're at 36 inches high, you can still drive the chair, of course, at a reduced speed. So we'll see it's almost all the way up. There we go. And you can see, you can still drive it with the seat elevated. Okay. I'm going to bring the legs in a little bit. I want to show you something. I'm going to bring the legs in. Now, if you're using the chair and you're still able to get out of your chair, a lot of people say, I mean, I'm having a hard time getting out of my chair. Here's the one way you can do it. You can leave the seat elevated, yes, but you can also do this. Let me bring the seat down some more. We're a little too high right now. We're going to bring the seat down some more. And you remember I said earlier, it's got seven functions. One function is the anterior tilt. The bottom will tilt forward. Watch this. This portion will go up. Watch. You see how the seat is tilting forward? So if you have trouble getting out of your chair and you're still able to get out of this chair, with the seat tilted like that, folks, it just it helps you get out. You can walk right out. You can do it at any height that you want. This is called the interior tilt, which we talked about earlier. Okay, so that's the third function. We're going to keep bringing the seat down. If I can ever figure out the buttons here. We're going to put the foot plates back down. So we've done the standing. We've done the 14 inch seat lift. We've done the interior tilt. What we're going to do now, we're going to do the tilt backward. That's another function that's very highly in demand. So the tilt backward is when the bottom right here goes back. So you can see the bottom is going back right now. Of course, it's going to take the legs and the back because they're all connected together. This is really good if you need to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You just want to relax or you want to have circulation in your legs. You need, you have, to, you need to have your feet higher than your body. Also, Remember folks, these chairs are fully adjustable. So if you're five feet tall or six foot two, 100 pounds or 280 pounds, we can make these seats, these frames larger, change the cushion, adjust the leg length. We can do all that here before the chair is shipped to your house. Now this is a little extreme. You need some circulation in your leg. Yeah, that's a little extreme, but I want to show you, you can definitely get your legs up. And if you were to, uh, do it halfway up, you'd still have good sick low. I'm going to bring it down halfway so you can see. Even right here, your feet are still higher than your body. Okay? So we did the tilt backward. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do the back of the seat right here to go back. So right now, the only thing going back is the back. Nothing else is moving, but the back is going back. You can see it right here. This is called the recline, folks. Electric recline. This is the fifth function. So this chair will recline pretty much flat, as you can see. So if you're going to lay flat, 
and you need to roll out of the chair into your bed, you can also take this off, raise the seat, and you can actually roll into your bed if you had to, or be rolled into a bed if that's what you need to do. These are lateral pad. We'll cover those in a minute. They're very nice. As you can see, the arms do flip up so you can get out of the way. So what we will do now, we'll bring the recline back up and we'll bring the legs back down. So we've done really six functions so far. We only have one function left once we get this all the way back to square one here. Uh, when you're outside, leave those legs out a little bit, especially if you're traveling at the full speed. This chair will go seven and a half miles an hour. If the legs are not out enough, you will have a reduced speed. So if you're going outside and your speed is reduced, put the legs out for further. Okay, now, we've done six function. Also these legs, as you can see, the legs went up, but they also go up and down. But to do that, you have to go through here. So you keep pushing the joystick, the, the knot forward here, as soon as you see a picture of a chair, you want this part here, the foot plate to be yellow with a yellow arrow this way. Yellow foot plates, yellow arrow this way. And to get there, you just gotta keep moving the joystick sideways like this until you see that on your screen. When you see it, there we go. So I've got the foot plates yellow and an arrow up and down. If I use my joystick and I walk back, you see the foot plates going down? So you have about three, four, five inches of play there. And then I can bring them back up. So if you're laying back and you need more length, you can do it through the joystick and have, so you also have a motor back here that pushes the legs up and down, okay? I'm gonna put it back in drive. And we're gonna turn around and show you how easy this chair turns in a circle. So this is how it turns in a circle. So if you have it in your house, and you can see how quiet this chair is. You can, I can't even hear it. That's your turning circle, okay? Let's look at the seat on this chair. Right now, the seat is an air cushion, which is about the best cushion you can get. It's 20 wide, but it's only 16 deep, but th that doesn't matter. We can push these seats back to 20, 21 deep. We can make them wider. We can change these cushions. Also, this chair has a USB port right here. You can charge your phone right here through this little port right there. You have a USB port. You do have a safety belt right here. Uh, you have the, the arms are gel. These are gel arm. You can't see over there. This is all custom, all filled with gel. You have lateral calf pads here. And I was talking about these earlier. What well, these are nice, they keep your knees together and your feet stay on the foot plate, okay? Also, this foot plate has a guard right here where your heel is not going to come off. So if you have your foot plate on this chair, there's a guard about this big on each side of, this, of the foot plate to keep your feet on there. Plus, these are really nice. And these right here can be moved all the way up to here, all the way back to here. And they can be turned. They can be moved in. They can be moved out. It's all adjustable. There's adjustments here. There's adjustments here, here. And there's also a height adjustment. So you can set it up any way you want. Okay, the back cushion is a breathable material, so you're not going to sweat on this cushion. You have a rounded headrest in the back. This headrest right here, folks, oh, let me take it off, is fully adjustable. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five adjustment. It's a rounded headrest. You can see your head will fill in there. You also have bag hooks over here. You can hook up a bag back here. We have actually hard bags available here for pretty cheap. You can carry a hard pack in the back, so you can carry your charger, your manuals, or you can carry a few soft drinks, uh, whatever you want to carry. This is the headrest. We're going to lock it so there's no play. In the back of the oh, also this chair is equipped with lights. You see this on the fender? If I hit this button right here, we have now factory headlights. These are the good ones. These are not the little ones. These are going to light up half your driveway. And you have the same lights in the back, as you can see. And you have hazards. You have left flasher. You have right flasher. So you have flashers, hazards, and all that. Also with this chair, right where this re reflector is, right in here, if I turn it off, you'll see. That's your, that's your uh, breaker. So when we ship these chairs, there's a button right here, you gotta push it.
But I'm telling you right now, I've had a couple of people call me, tell me it was not there and it's impossible. You do have to have a strong finger to get it back on that side. It's a, it's a very heavy duty breaker. So now the power is back on. And if I turn my power back up front, as you can see, the power is back on. I can turn my lights back on now. Okay, so your breaker is right in here. I can, my finger's right on it. Well, I did it again. I use my thumb to bring it back because it's, it's pretty hard to do, okay? We're gonna turn the power one more time on because I did it by mistake. And as I said, we can turn the lights back on if we want to. Bring the chair here. So when you charge the chair, you'll use your permobile charger. This is a permobile charger here. And once it's full, you plug it usually right below the joystick right here. And as soon as it goes to full 100%, the batteries are full, the charger will cut off. Okay, these are smart chargers. This may not be the charger for this chair. It does work on that chair, but we'll send you a charger with the chair. So we're going to turn the lights off. We're going to turn those off. We're going to recap the chair. So we have here a Permobil F5. F stands for front wheel drive. And the five means that's the model. This chair has a seven function. It has 36 miles. It was used less than a couple months. It has a top speed of seven, between seven and seven and a half miles an hour. It has a 14 inch seat lift. It has a standing feature you can drive. It has the interior tilt that leans you forward. It has the reclining back. It has the tilt back. It has the legs that go out. It has the leg to come up and down. Folks, headlights, gel arms, swing away joystick, lateral pad, air cushion, adjustable headrest, solid aggressive tires, uh, anchor points, I mean I can go on and on. This is the most expensive chair on the market. This chair has 36 miles. If you're looking for the top of the line and you need a chair to stand you up, this is really the only model in the US that, that's in, that has any quality in a standing power chair. It's the Permobil power chair. This is made in Sweden. Top quality material, top quality power chair available right now. Seven and a half, seven, seven point four miles. Seven point four is what I saw in here. You notice how well it stops too. So when you stop, they show you again. Like watch this. It's got built-in brakes on the motor, electromagnetic brakes. So if you let go going down a hill, up a hill, it'll stop exactly where you're at. Okay. Right now the chair is still in the power is still on, but it's in gear. It's not going anywhere until I push the joystick. Now, this chair has all kinds of speeds on here, but if you just use the joystick as a gas pedal, if I just move this a little bit like this, it barely moves, so you can use it as a gas pedal to control your speed. This chair is super smooth because it weighs 450 pounds. I'm 180, and it's super smooth. When you ride this, it's like riding a luxury car with a lot of nice air suspension. We're going to take it in the grass a little bit. This, gra this chair eats the grass up with no problem. So, I'm going to raise the seat lift up now. So in the grass, as long as you have a hard bottom and it's not sandy, you'd have no problem with this chair, okay? I'm raising the seat up. If you're gonna use the seat lift, <clears throat> do yourself a favor, real nice flat surfaces. And I wanna show you the chair still dry with the seat elevator. As soon as we're all the way up, I'm gonna drive it. I think we're all the way up. So if you turn the chair around, we'll show you how fast it drives. Three miles an hour. Airplanes. We have to fight between the airplanes to do our videos all the time. So three miles an hour, this one's pretty good with the seat elevated all the way up. 
So if you want the most expensive chair there is, this chair of course has seven function, has the standing function, the leaning forward function, the legs that go out, the legs that go up and down, the seat that tilts back, the seat that recline, and the seat that goes forward, interior tilt. Uh, it has headlights, uh, it has the suspension we talked about, it has the high speed motor, seven and a half miles an hour. It has a seat lift, which is already up now, 14 inches. I'm at 36 inches right here. You can definitely reach the third cabinet in your house. Gel arms, lateral pads. I can go on and on about this chair, folks. It's the most expensive chair, but it is the best chair. Made in Sweden, just like the Rolex watches. A great power chair, high, top quality. Thank you, folks. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.